Okay, so welcome back, guys. This is Wolfa Studios, and here I am with another devlog yet again. Uh, this time, I do have some updates for you guys. Uh, it's not super major in terms of the density. I mean, it is, but it's not that much. Okay, so I remember showing you guys the houses in the last update here, and I know it's been <clears throat> it's been quite a while. Actually, I was busy with you know the level design, like setting up the props and everything. And then I had some cold, and you know I was just not able to do everything efficiently. But now here I am. So I decided to record a devlog for you guys. Also, I'm having some issues in my motherboard, so again I won't be able to do some work for the next few days. But here it is. So let me just quickly go through the updates. But before that. I need to show you guys this plugin. Uh, there is this plugin by the name of Prefabricator by Cold Respawn, and it's free. You can use it in Unreal Engine 5, no issues, and it's a really nice tool. What it does is, is you can basically select multiple objects. Uh, let's say, yeah, as you can see in this example, you can select multiple objects and then create one single prefab collection from them. And you can also adjust some custom properties and maybe increase the randomness of uh, multiple objects inside one prefab. So it's a really, really nice plugin. I'll recommend you guys check it out and use if you're doing level design like I was here. Uh, let me show you guys quickly some stuff that I've added. As you can see, this solar panel, uh, I made this on my own and I've added it. So yeah, these uh, blue whatever containers um, they are from quixel i've added some other stuff uh, some pots as you can see and now i can add plants in them uh, other than that let me just quickly i'm giving you an exterior tour right now okay then i'll go into the interior ones yeah uh, let me go to game mode yeah these are the floodlights as you can see very basic uh, very simple they have this grainy texture on them okay now this is the metallic part so this is the uh, floodlight it is a very basic blueprint actor with lights in it and right now they are all disabled and they can be controlled using a variable again uh, I just do the same construction script you know customizing like I do every time and I made them unique actors they are not instant static mesh okay they are the simple blueprint actors and the reason I did that was uh, well I need them to interact like you know there will be a cutscene where the user actually, the player actually shoots them and then they break. So for that, they have to be individual pieces. And yeah, these are the floodlights, as you can see, multiple of these on the border, on the corner. I've added this small electrical box because why not from Quixel. Um, I've added more containers which are empty and dirty one more electrical box the proper one and then smaller electrical block boxes again from quixel and other than that is there anything else that is outside yeah yeah these chairs okay these chairs as you can see i have two types of chairs the rounded ones there as you can see this part is rounded and the rectangular ones I have two types of chairs. Uh, these chairs are from a website called thebasemesh.com. I'll try to link it in the description if I don't forget it. And it's a really nice site. It has CC0 license. You can just fetch any asset you want. And these are very basic assets, as you can see. I mean, they have, you know, these edges, they are not uh, particularly high poly, but they do the job and they look really good. And these textures are my own. I textured them using Substance Painter. And this is the metal shed, if you guys remember from the last video. Uh, it is not a skeletal mesh right now for performance reason. It is just a static mesh. As you can see, the cloth is not moving. So yeah, it's fine. And the same shed is here with same metal chairs. Yeah, as you can see, these are the rounded one and this is the rectangular one. Okay. And now let's quickly visit the interior. So first, first of all, I'll take you guys through building D. Here, as you can see, I've created this light actor. So what I did was this lamp, as you can see this lamp, I took it from Quixel and I also took this fluorescent lamp from Quixel, this uh, smaller one, and I made these three rods, cylindrical rods in Blender and gave them a simple MSF material. And then I placed some rectangular lights here, simple as that. And yeah, I mean, I'm using very less amount of rectangular lights. like. 
this light is just covering these two lamps that one is just covering that this one single light is covering all of these lamps because i wanted some uniform uh, you know lighting and before this i was actually adding individual lights to all of these lamps and it was uh, like totally crap like it just scrapped the bed and it was really bad in terms of performance of course now using one single light is really good for performance and i'm also tweaking the settings like maybe temperature and the ambient and the indirect lighting so yeah it looks actually actually looks good apart from that i made this uh, shed from what i thought the shed would be and these are the characters so i i am officially revealing the character's name right now the protagonist is jack uh, one of his good friends is drew the other one is dc one is rob and the other one is matt and the last one is rick okay they are heavily inspired i mean basically they are the adaptations of the real soldiers that were there the grs operators but i have of course changed the name for privacy reasons and copyright reasons as well uh, there is this sofa as you can see the table and the lamp also have this uh, second lamp now and in this blueprint uh, as you can see i can just uh, change the mesh here see no issues i can change the mesh if i want and I have two light actors in it, so no issues. Light as in the, uh, you know, light, not the light by weight. Uh, this is the construction script for the lamp, just in case if you guys are interested, what happened to the performance, damn it, yeah. It's a very simple construction script. I'm just using this Boolean to switch the uh, light, basically turn it on or off. And then I'm using the variable, one single variable to change the intensity from construction script and then I'm using this selector to switch the visibility basically if this value is zero I want this one to be visible and this one to be invisible and vice versa there are two meshes as you can see two different meshes in the scene this one and this one yeah that's all uh, this is the building D uh, the room you can say the uh, meeting no sorry not the meeting room the entertainment room the retiring room whatever you want to call it for building D where the GRS operator used to be and this is the notice board as you can see here I give it at this yeah good enough again as you can see while I was moving it the values were changing so what I did was uh, I can show you guys the blueprint again construction script very simple uh, I have this pin board okay and I have these four static meshes, one, two, three, and four. And I have two separate materials for this. So what I'm doing is I'm just running this, get a random uh, material, get a random, you know, unit from array, and then just set it as the material, simple as that. So whenever you will move it, because it's a construction script, the materials will change dynamically, just like you saw here. I don't know what is happening to the performance. It's very crazy. This is the painting again uh, using the construction script uh, what's basically happening is I have this frame with a single texture and the painting the plane inside has multiple textures so I can just switch textures as you can see I have three textures right now I can add more in the future and I just have to increase the value and it's very very modular in nature again if you want to look at it here's the construction a very simple construction script I'm just using the integer and I'm switching 0 1 2 and getting that particular material this is not a random one this is the you know static one basically i'm getting a particular material from a particular blueprint i don't know what's happening to the engine i really have no idea i'm sorry guys i'm actually running on half of the memory i don't have the full memory like i said so yeah 16 gigs of ram is not enough apparently this is the meeting room uh, i haven't done anything here because i really had not that many props to be honest guys i was just making props i was in the process of making while the computer crashed so my bad there's nothing i can do but i can show you guys building c i'm very excited for it i did this all on my own as you can see just zoom in again two lamps and one light actor a table for the guy that is going to give the duties here as you can see we have files and a calendar which conveniently is of September 2012 a lamp the smaller one a telephone and a computer even a PC proper 
and then you have a screen and this basically uh, this monitor this keyboard uh, and this uh, whatever this rack is it's from base mesh the lamp is from base mesh the calendar is also from base mesh and these two and this office chair as well the desk is from quixel uh, i made the pc on my own the phone is i guess from sketchfab so yeah i am using a mix of custom assets like some of them are my own some of them are from quixel because quixel makes amazing assets and some of them are from sketchfab and I, of course i'll be crediting the proper authors and giving them the proper attribution they need also in this uh, as you can see in this monitor i have this little script going on that is actually uh, you know doing a few things first of all it's a random boot that will set the visibility of the screen so there is a chance you will see a monitor turned off and if it is visible then we'll see whatever material is being applied to the screen here as you can see so i'll get a random integer this is on begin play if i'm not wrong yeah this is not a construction script guys this is a begin play okay so it's not for the level design aspect it's for the runtime aspect in the game so what i'm doing is i'm just getting a random integer and getting that particular element from the array and this is the array it has four or five of these textures they are like cia wallpapers and such and yeah that's all and i'm setting the parameter value basically i made a master material and the texture 2d is now a parameter so i'm able to change the particular parameter in this material instance simple as that these are the lockers well they are from the base mesh but i textured them on my own like i said the base mesh assets are without textures so you still have to texture them i mean it looks like it's a free you know gift but no you have to texture them on your own this is the main room where the employees of cia are working as you can see all of these have the monitors and keyboards and vertical monitors like the ones on wall and these ones for you know tracking and stats and everything computers and chairs and documents you have two types of lockers and shelf you have a water dispenser another rack of papers you have these bookshelf as you can see with documents this shelf uh, from the last devlog and the bigger one yeah and these pvc shades for you know a bit of privacy because why not and let me show you guys the meeting room this is the meeting room as you can see you have shelf uh, to the racks you have boxes you have another shelf and you have desk and i know the light is not coming here because you know it's not properly set up like as you can see it's not properly set up still have to adjust the values like these values as you can see or maybe you know play with the attenuation see as you can see it's, it's looking fine now so that is a problem you know with lighting you really have to be specific with what you are doing and what you are trying to achieve it's it's not easy and it's very performance intensive so maybe you know later down the line i'll have to first optimize all of these yeah, as you can see i have computers and vertical monitors and again water dispenser and small cabinet and what not and this is let's go into this office this is the uh base chief the chief's office you have a phone you have computers and racks and paintings and again this notice board and again you know documents and boxes well i remember it was a makeshift office okay i mean they were always like ready to run if something was wrong and ready to evacuate so not everything was just spread out they were compact and stored in boxes you know to be burned if there's the need for it let's go into building b this is the living quarters as you can see this bed is from i don't remember the exact source i'll i'll credit them in the final game this pillow is from quixel if i'm not wrong yeah i textured this bed on my own i remember that so i don't know how many beds are these like 1 2 3 3 into 3 into 3 yeah like 27 people we have 27 people here approximately i don't know more than that like total capacity is around 40 ish people so yeah i mean it really needs to give the idea that yes you have multiple people living here and you know working and everything like there are not that many people but they are they are not even like less they are just enough to get the work done and yeah so again i'm using the same concept of using just singular lights like one here and one here and one here and that's all
I'll be adding, of course, I'll be adding more props like the water, uh, the water tank, you know, the and the water dispenser here, and maybe a dustbin and some other props. I was actually in the process of doing this level design, but again, like I said, I ran into hardware issues. This is the cantina or the building A, as you can see. I've added some lights, and it looks half decent. I forgot to get rid of this thing. Yeah, much better. I'm getting rid of that white stone thing. I'm using the simple tables and yeah, I have a glass that I made. No, this is from base mesh and the kettle as well. But yeah, I textured these two because I can do that. Same is with the bottle. And yeah, this table is from Quixel if I'm not wrong. Yeah. The thing is, guys, you have to do the smart work. Okay, you cannot make every single asset by hand knowing that you can use the free ones that can use attribution and you can still use them so yeah these are the tables and enough people can eat here okay like with the right amount of chairs they can just enjoy their meal as you can see like even right now it is able to house um, 8 10 13 15 i don't know 20 people and a lot of them here like so yeah it is able to you know simultaneously store 20 30 people if they want to eat together so that actually checks out in the terms of feasibility so let me just quickly give you guys the plain editor tour here yeah i don't know why i'm getting a lot of frame drops okay i'm out of video memory that to happen right let me just quickly go inside building d and give you guys a tour so the lighting actually looks good You can see the props look, actually they look decent enough. I mean, considering the size and everything, like the sofas are supposed to be big and you know, like sit on them if you want. Of course, the collision isn't perfect, but anyways, I textured these two on my own. A notice board and lockers here, uh, this boxes, CIA confidential stuff. I can open and this is the shed, the chairs. Now let's quickly go to building C, what's actually causing the performance. I don't know which skeletal mesh component is causing the performance drop but I'll have to check it. As you can see building C, here we are, this desk and yeah, so this desk has no display on it so it is one of those random instances. Let's go to the meeting room first. Yeah, I don't it honestly looks good. As you can see, it's looking fine, right? You have random materials. One is turned off, one is turned on. You have all of these things and these graphics coming up. I can add more textures dynamically and yeah, it's all modular, okay? It's it's for your own ease. The, the doors are big. I know the doors are really big, but they really had huge doors, so don't blame me. Uh, these two monitors are turned off, bummer, and yeah, you can basically sit here, these are some long desks, yeah, they look a bit huge, but never mind, as you can see, these ones have display on them, let's check out these ones, yeah, they also have something on them, surprisingly, all of these are closed, but these ones are working, and they look good, they are not aligned properly, I'll do that, no issues. Yeah, they look a bit bigger than they should be, the tables and all, so I'll try to reduce their size maybe by 10 or 20 percent. Let's just go out from building C and quickly maybe look at building B. Yeah, the beds look fine. Yeah, according to their size, they, they look fine. Yeah. This is perfect. The beds are looking perfect according to their size. Let's just move here. Nothing that you guys haven't already seen. Now let's move to building A, the cantina. Yeah, we have desks. They look fine in terms of size. I mean a bit large. Yeah, a bit large. I'll have to decrease their sizes. That's actually going to take a lot of time but i'll do them afterwards no issues yeah i'm going to actually add more you know textures on these screens maybe they can display a sort of a gif 
or maybe something like time or something or maybe a scenery so that it doesn't look horrible and you know workaholic every every instance it's to look fine yeah i really i really have an eye for details you know anyways that's all guys that's all um nothing nothing else that's it i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please support me uh share this with other game devs with other people who might be interested in this game in the first look and yeah that's all if you guys can head over to the description you can find my patreon and support me there and soon i'll be launching kickstarter so i'll be counting on you guys to support me and spread the news right so yeah that's all uh see you guys in the next one i don't know when that's going to happen it may take some time maybe a week or so another week or maybe like 15 days 12 days i don't know but i'll come back soon enough with these corrections and with more assets okay so till then take care guys and yeah that's it cheers